So one of the most common dysfunctions that we encounter here at MOVE is people with low back pain, sacroiliac pain, low back pain. And if you see one of our previous posts where I describe the diagram of a neutral pelvis versus an extended pelvis and a flexed pelvis, you'll understand that people with low back pain, the muscles of the back are generally shorter and you have over lengthened abs, you have shortened back muscles, you have over lengthened hamstrings, and you have overshortened quads. This 90-90 drill is going to teach us how to get our body out of those positions. So this is a good understanding of where our body is stuck in. We're in an overextended posture, overlengthened abs, overshortened lower back, shortened quads, overlengthened hamstrings. So all I'm gonna do here is lift up my hips. If I can, if you're dealing with really bad back pain, you may not even wanna lift up your hips. You might not be able to if you're dealing with a flare up. So all you're gonna work on is pushing down slightly, manipulating the position of your pelvis. So you have to actually move your bones. And so when I move my bones backwards, so if my pelvis is a glass of water, I'm pouring the glass of water out behind me. This is called the posterior pelvic tilt. This is an anterior pelvic tilt. This is where you're generally gonna be finding people with back pain stuck in. You have to get them into a posterior pelvic tilt, which lengthens out those back muscles, shortens up those hamstrings. And then you're just looking to gain some time in this position where you're forcing those hamstrings to shorten, keeping that posterior pelvic tilt. And then from here, you can work on adding the second component of this, which is the ribs. taking full exhales, making sure that you're really shortening the abs with the exhale, and now all of a sudden you're in the complete opposite position of extension, which is flexion. Posterior pelvic tilt, lengthened quads, shortened hamstrings, lengthened back, shortened abs.